Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we are going to see a problem on section of hexagonal pyramid. Initially, I will be explaining the question. Then I will explain how to write the given data. After that, I will explain how to draw the diagram step by step. If you follow all the instructions step by step means you will be completing the diagram without any confusion and you will be getting full 20 marks. So let us uh, start explaining the question. So here what they are given is the solid which they gave is a hexagonal pyramid. See? So hexagonal pyramid. Okay. So hexagonal pyramid means hexagon we can uh, draw in two different ways, right? Okay. So either we can draw the hexagon like this. Either we can draw the hexagon by this way. Or we can draw the hexagon by this way. So one and two different types of drawing the hexagon. So what they gave is uh, the base is 25 mm. So all the sides will be 25 mm and axis length is 55. So height of the uh, pyramid will be 55. Rest on its base on HP. So resting on HP, uh, base on HP means the resting will be HP. So we are going to draw the base diagram in HP. Base diagram will be HP. The base diagram is the hexagon. Either this one or this one we just going to draw in HP. With uh, HP with two base edges perpendicular to VP. Just see this word. Two base edges perpendicular to VP. So these are the base edges. Okay. These are the base edges. See you can see clearly. These base edges are parallel to VP. Only these two base edges are perpendicular to VP. So we will be going with this type of diagram. We won't go with this. We will be going with this second type of diagram. And it is cut by a plane perpendicular to VP and inclined 30 degree to HP. So inclined 30 degree to HP means it will be, we are going to draw the cutting plane in front view. Meeting the axis at 20 mm from the vortex. So from topmost portion from the vortex O dash for 20 mm we just going to draw the cutting plane. Draw the front view on the sectional top view and true shape of the section. So initially we will be going with this type of hexagon. So this is a base diagram. So it's very clear that which type of hexagon we just going to go about it. Uh, I will be telling uh, how to draw the diagram step by step. The first step is you need to draw a reference line. See? So the, you need to draw a reference line horizontally. So this is called a reference line. Draw a reference line and name X, Y, V, P, H, P. We are going to draw the base diagram in HP only and the hexagon which we are going to choose will be both the base sides will be perpendicular to VP. So this is your base. So you will start your diagram here. So for 25 mm you draw a base and you know how to draw the hexagon 60 degree exterior and 60 degree and keeping that you just complete the hexagon. Since it is a hexagon pyramid means you will be having only 6 namings. So A, B, C, D, E, F and dimensioning this is the XH line 2 H pencil, dimension line H pencil, 25 and arrowhead HP pencil. So whatever we drawn now is your top view and uh, for guiding the center just connect B and E and A and D. So you will be getting the center O and one more most important thing is so in pyramid we have to give preferences for slant edges. So just to join OF and remaining if I join here please. Yeah, you can write it as O. So OA, OB, OC, OD, OE, OF are called the slant edges. We have to give preferences for slant edges. Now we are extending all the top view points. We can get the front view. So next step is just keep your scale vertically, okay? Keep your scale with respect to A vertically so that you can get this point. Keep your scale vertically with respect to F so that you can get this point. Keep your scale vertically with respect to E so that you can get this point. So from the center, so here we won't put axis or we won't consider axis. The reason is we are having two edges. E and F will be in visible edge. So we will consider only visible edges. We won't consider axis. So from here, for a distance of 55 mm, so from here, because they clearly mentioned the axis is 55 mm, okay. So we are going to draw the axis. So from here for 55 mm, we just keep a point and mark it as O dash. From here, height is 55 mm, vertically, you will be getting a point right. Just connect this point with this point, this point with this point, so that you will be forming the triangle. Naming I will explain. When you see from here, you can see B, you can't see A. See here, you can see B, you can't see A. So B dash bracket A dash. 
you can see C but you can't see F. So C dash bracket F dash. You can see D but you can't see E. So D dash bracket E dash. Dimension X. This is the extension line to H pencil. These are the dimension line H pencil. Arrow here and number should be written with your HP pencil. And all the alphabet and naming should be written with your HP pencil. Now I'll explain how to draw the cutting plane. Now I'll explain how to draw the cutting plane. And one more important thing. So we know very well that A dash is the apex. So this is the apex from here for 20 mm we keep a dot. Okay. From apex. From apex for 20 mm we keep a dot like this. So from here you try to draw an horizontal line so that you can dimension 20. So from here to this distance is only 20. So same distance 20 you must have. So draw a horizontal line extended extended from the 55 so that you can draw mark it extension line and dimension for 20. So from this point you See here, it is inclined at 30 degree right. So draw a horizontal line and the angle should be 30 degree. So see, you have to draw a horizontal line in this way. And here the angle is 30 degree. I have a dimension here. Okay. So for 30 degree, draw a line. So this line is called the cutting plane. So it will be cutting here, here, here. Okay. So the line is inclined at 30 degree. I have a dimension here. And try to leave one mm gap, one, one mm gap and try to extend further. Dimensioning we can do here. So see here how I am dimensioning 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash. So 1 dash is between O dash and B dash, 2 dash is between O dash and C dash, and 3 dash is between O dash and A dash, 4 dash is between O dash and E dash, 5 dash is between O dash and F dash, 6 dash is between O dash and A dash. So like this only we need to dimension and later on we have to di show dimension for 20 as well as angle. Now we have drawn the cutting plane and cutting points. Now just extend all the cutting points on the cutting plane so that you can get the sectional top view. So next thing is try to extend all the cutting points. See 1 6 1 dash 6 dash 1 dash is between O dash and B dash right. Extend one da, uh, one da, this cutting point in vertically in such a way that between O and B you will be getting 1 and between O and A you will be getting 6. Okay. Uh, 2 and 5 will tell later, come to 3 dash and 4 dash, 3 dash is between O dash and D dash right, so extend 3 dash cutting point vertically, so that between O and D you will be getting 3, and 4 dash is between O dash and E dash, between O, o and E you will be getting 4, so 1, 6, 3, 4 we have got, I think so it will be very clear, but uh, 2 dash and 5 dash is lying on the axis itself, so it's very difficult for us to plot it up, so what are you going to do, so this is the point for 2 dash and 5 dash right, see here, Try to extend this point horizontally. Try to extend this point horizontally so that it will be touching O dash B dash. So try to draw, bring the uh, wherever you got, just try to drop it down in such a way that uh, also one more thing. Uh, here it's not a true slant edge. Okay, it's very difficult for us to find true slant edge since the slant edges are not parallel to reference line. So what are you going to do? You try to draw a line like this. Try to draw a horizontal line like this. So from here try to bring the point in such a way that it will be meeting the horizontal line. See, from here draw a horizontal line and try to uh, and from here you draw a horizontal line. You get this point right. Try to bring this point vertically in such a way that it will be meeting at this point, that horizontal line. Measure from here to here. Try to cut a reverse arc and try to get a forward arc. Measure here to here. So try to cut an arc above and try to cut an arc below. And uh, you know very well 2 dash is between O dash and C dash. So here you will get 2 and here you will get 5. So now we have plotted all the points. Just connect all the points so that you can get the sectional top view. And hatching is very very important. So see here, we just joined all the points 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 1. Uh, hatching, you know very well, hatching angle is 45 degree and try to have an equal spacing and complete it up. So here, whatever we got here is the sectional top view. So next, we are going to get a true shape of the section. So if this is the cutting plane, we draw a reference plane parallel to it and uh, draw the or plot the true shape of the section. The next step is we need to draw a reference line. So see here. So this is your axe. So this is your cutting plane. Right? Try to draw a, another new reference line parallel to this cutting plane and name it as uh, uh, x1 and y1. You can name it up. Okay. So this line and cutting plane should be parallel. It, sh it can be away from the front view and top view of your diagram. And next thing is, see here you are having uh, cutting point 1 dash, 6 dash, 2 dash, 5 dash and 3 dash, 4 dash. Extend all the cutting points perpendicularly. So it should be like this. So 1 dash, 6 dash means it should be extended perpendicularly. It should, uh, 2 dash, 5 dash means it should be extended perpendicularly. 
थ्री डैश फोर डैश में इट शुड बी एक्सटेंड पर पोलिकल एंगल्स बट ट्राई टू एक्सटेंड अवे फ्रॉम द डायग्राम बिकॉज इफ यू एक्सटेंड इनसाइड मींस इट विल बी लुकिंग सम मोर क्लेंसी सो डोंट डू लाइक दैट ट्राई टू एक्सटेंड अवे फ्रॉम द डायग्राम टू सम एक्सटेंड ओके नेक्स्ट व्हाट यू नीड टू डू keep your compass here keep your compass or you can also keep your measure scale so whatever distance from here to 6 the same distance you will be having here to here or else you keep your compass in reference line measure till 6 try to cut an arc keep your compass in reference line measure from uh, reference line to 1 for same distance you cut an arc and name it as 1 1 from reference line you just measure whatever distance you are having for 5 the same distance you keep here Uh, I am not drawing with exact dimension. So when you draw with exact dimension, you will be getting pakka an exact answer. So just follow the steps around. From the reference line, how much of a distance you are having for two? For the same distance, try to cut an arc so that you can get two one. What of distance you are having from reference line to E? The same distance you so not E for E for what of uh, distance you are having from reference line to four? The same distance you cut an arc and name it as four one. What of distance you are having from reference line to three? Ah uh, three for the same distance you cut an arc so that you can get three one. Okay, so one one two one three one four one five one six one. So like this only we need to name it up. Okay, and after that we just going to hatch it up. Hatching you know very well, forty five degree angle and it should be equal spacing. Um, it should be drawn with your HP pencil and one one two one three one. It should be written with your HP pencil. So this is the way you need to complete your diagram. And here you can use your cross section and write a number for question number that is one A or two B like that. So this one comes as a four to the right. So four A or four B. Four A only section of solid will be coming at first part first stop. So four A you will be writing and height of the text is ten mm. So section of external primary should be written uh, with the capital letter. Height of the text will be ten mm. And here below you will be have to write two different lines. One is all dimensions are ten mm and scale only is one. For both the lines height of the text is five mm and you should draw the border from left hand side. 20 mm from top 10 mm from right side 10 mm from bottom 10 mm you have to leave and draw a border okay so border should be drawn with your hp pencil okay this is the way you need to complete your diagram uh, i hope so it will be very clear okay in case if you have any doubt means you can type all your doubts in comment section so that we can clarify you in case we want us to make a video on a particular topic or particular problem means you just type in the comment section so that we will upload it those videos as early as possible and uh, do subscribe our channel mechanical motivator and stay tuned with our channel we will be bringing all engineering graphics video to your door sir we also have other playlist to kindly go through it it will be really helpful for you during your completion of engineering as well as for grabbing the job and also many other uh, journals will be uploaded so you can also give your suggestion and kindly extend your support to our channel so that by sharing the, the video to your friends so that it will be helping us to move on to the next stage thanks for watching this video have a great day